joining me today, Pato Award. Pato, you're one of the youngest drivers here at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. What have you learned from your elders? Mm, what have I learned from my elders? Do well, they first, share information with you at all? I mean, honestly, I've, you know, I've had Montoya mm -hmm. as a teammate. I've had now Tony as a teammate. Um, the other guys don't really share much, but <laughs> from, from Montoya and Tony, they're open books. So anything you want to ask them, uh, they're, they're very honest about it and about their past experiences sure. or kind of thing. Yeah. When you first came here, was there any hazing incidences? Did they ever? Uh, no hazing yet, <laughs> but the hazer is now my teammate, Alexander Rossi. Really? So, um, yeah, I'm just, I, I hope, I hope he's not going to like, I know he's going to do something in the month. I just, I don't know what it's going to be. Yeah. What are his past hazes? Do you know? Um, they put a golf cart on top of a bus. Sorry. They put the, the golf cart tires on top of the bus for Herda. <laughs> and then, yeah, like, and then they filled up the, they filled up um, inflatable pool with jelly beans. <laughs> <laughs> rather than actual water for Connor. Uh-huh. So who knows what's next? One of the Pacer players here had his car wrapped in saran wrap when he got back from a road game. Completely Ooh. wrapped. It was pretty funny. That's actually. horrible. Yeah, it was horrible. <laughs> and I'm giving him ideas, aren't I? I'm sorry. No, please don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> the first time you walked into this of this this place, the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Were you a fan? Were you already racing? So I was a fan coming to watch in the 100th running of the Indy 500 2016. Sure. Rossi won it, actually. Yeah. And, um, and I just, the memory that I have was like, oh, my God, the magnitude of this thing is insane. It was 5 a.m., those hundreds of cars outside. People were like, yeah, getting ready to go. Ready to get lit in the snake pit. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get lit in the snake pit? No. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> just as a fan, though. Yeah, just... Uh, Where did you watch the race from? Probably right out here. Holman Terrace? Sure. It's called, yeah. maybe? Yeah. yeah. So not like a real... Like, no. Bought a ticket and sat yeah, in the stand no. kind of fan. Yeah, you no, did get yet. some nice treatment. Yes, I That's did. cool. Have you ever raced in a race? It doesn't have to be an IndyCar race. Where something was set up wrong or it was like... Like your steering wheel was upside down or you had to at the last minute change. So it was like it was a surprise. Yeah. yeah. So I didn't know this until after the race, but because uh, obviously they didn't want to tell me. Um, but it was Barbara Motorsports Park. It was raining and they didn't get to change the setup of the car for the rain. Mm -hmm. They changed all my teammates, but not mine. And I uh, well, it's safe to say I destroyed the field. So maybe it was like a good mistake. Yeah. Yeah. Because I... Yeah, like I, I was insanely fast, <laughs> and I won the that, race. Did you keep that every time it rained then? <laughs> uh, well, I only did Indy Lights for one one year, so oh. yeah. But then I guess the team kept it, and I in a story that I heard a couple of years ago, it was raining again, mm -hmm. and they tried it, they hated it. Oh, so maybe it's just maybe it like a, great maybe diving no, ability. maybe I just enjoyed that car, ah. or that setup of the car. Maybe they didn't or something. Off the track, what is your favorite video game and why? Call of Duty Black Ops Zombies 1. Okay. Yeah, the OG, Kino de Totten. Yeah. <laughs> the original. Yeah. 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 Do you play it a lot? I play it with my buddies, yeah. Do you have a certain playlist, like, before race? I don't. Like, pre? I like uh, peaceful, quiet. Do you really? Yes. Interesting. Yeah. Nobody around you? Yeah, just chill. I mean, you sometimes don't really have a choice. Yeah, got all of uh, us. But. Yeah. Yeah, when I have the chance, I like to be just quiet. How do you engage your fans these days? Because you got the younger fan group, you know. Just being me, I guess. Yeah, that's, you're very that's personable. Worked, that's worked out lately. <laughs> 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 um, A lot of social media. Yeah, I just treat it as my diary. Do you? So like, wherever I am, picture or something. Sometimes they're pro pictures, but like, if I get some cool pictures on my phone, I just put them on. Cool. Yeah, people like that, I think. Oh, of course they do. Because yeah. they feel like you're, like they're your buddy. Like, yeah. hey, we're tagging along with Pato today. Yeah. And I mean, you have to watch what you're posting. You can't do everything. Well, but, of course. But yeah. most of it. That's why you have keepers. 
that's the way I have Lauren. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, when you're not racing, what do you like to do? Mm. Well, I love dirt bikes, but I can't really do a lot of dirt biking because I'll probably end up getting hurt. I was going to say, do you so, have like an insurance thing that yeah. they won't allow you to do that? Yeah, so I honestly, I, just, I love being by the water. Okay. I love fishing. I love jet skis. I love anything that's on the water. Do you have a collection of cars? Mm. <laughs> I mean, I know you obviously have to have a McLaren, right? Yes. My, um, I actually just received my, uh, my McLaren. I have not shared it on socials yet. I will. Uh huh. But not yet. What color? You'll see. Yeah, I can't wait. I'm so excited. <laughs> I went crazy on it. For sure. It's, uh, it, I mean, I personally obviously love how it came out because I, I picked every single piece on that car. Did you really? I did. Yeah. Did you go to the factory and, uh, well, no, we, we did like a spec session. So uh -huh. I was like, I want that and I want this and I want that to say that. And Have you driven it yet? Yes, I did. It's like right you're now. You're smiling it's at, ear to ear for those yeah, of you it's, on the it's radio. At, it's, at the, it's at the shop right now. Getting, uh, uh, yeah, getting some stuff. <laughs> <laughs> you were so big. Do you have any like collector cars? Like, um, no. No. My grandfather had a very nice collection. He got rid of it. Um, but yeah, um, I, I don't have any like collector's cars. I, I, I might have some that will be collector's cars in like 30 or 40 years. Yeah. Like a, a pace car from the Indy 500. Well, I don't have that. You will. I'm saying yeah. that's what, that's hopefully what you can collect, Yeah. That, right? I would love, yeah, that, yeah. That, that, that's a, that's a, that's a milestone in someone's, you know, in someone's life is as I felt like my McLaren was a milestone because, well, when I was a kid, I was like, well, I'm going to one day I'm going to I'm going to drive for the badass brand and I'm going to and I'm going to get their car. And yeah, so for me, it's like a big milestone of of, I guess, my my career so far. Um, but yeah, one, one that I really want to add to it is definitely the pace car. About the month of May. How do you feel about this month? It's a stressful month. Lots mm -hmm. going on. Um, but I flow with it. I like it. It's, you know, it's important not to get too ahead of yourself. Take your time. Be patient. Um, but when race day comes, then you definitely got to be ready. Because if you ain't ready, then you're going to, well, you're not going to have a shot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and what does it take to get ready? Uh, lots of laps, lots of testing, lots of, sorry, but oh, sh moments. Mm -hmm. um, there's... Because this place is a different animal. When it's when you get to the point where you're like, oh, we're too loose, probably too late. Um, you can get really close to it and be like, ooh. That's a clincher. It. It? Yeah. <laughs> you're clinching for a while yeah. after that. <laughs> I bet. Yeah.